I suppose the other word that I think of when I think of Galway Jail is forgotten because as you have said many people who come to Galway today many people who live in Galway today never knew that it was there so it is largely forgotten So the buildings of the jail were, bu were built in the early 19th century. The wall around them was 20 feet high. Uh, there were two jails originally from the early 19th century. There was the town jail, which serves the town, which was much smaller. And then there was the county jail, which was built in a radial form. And uh, the governor's house was just inside the main door. And the main door of the jail was just where we see the entrance, the front entrance to the cathedral now as we come over the Salmonware Bridge. There was no bridge when the jails were built. The Salmonware Bridge was built to transport the prisoners who were sentenced from the two courthouses across to the jail. They would be brought in through the main door. The governor's house, as I said, was just inside. The governor, who was the boss of the jail, was just inside. They would be processed, they would be weighed. Their, everything about them would be recorded, the colour of their eyes, their height, um, their religion, their standard of education, and then they would be brought to the cells. And at one point there were 92 cells in the jail, but after the famine there were four times many prisoners in the jail as the jail had accommodation for, so it was very, very overcrowded. The most fascinating thing that I found in the jail registers, I suppose, was the were the people who were there who would not now be in jail, for example, children, and the reasons that they were in jail, and they would not be sent to jail for those reasons now. So, for example, children would be sent to jail for playing ball in the street, or people would be sent to jail for very petty crimes of theft, for stealing small items of food or other goods that uh, they would not be sent to jail for now. But I also think in the course of my research, I've come to realise that sometimes there was more sympathy than we might have thought for such children. And I think that a sympathetic magistrate might simply have imprisoned that child so that they are taken off the streets and at least given shelter for a month. It is very harsh to make somebody a criminal for begging because they are destitute. But for some of those children, it might have been the first relief they have had from cold and hunger in a long time. The most common prison uh, work in the 19th century was picking oakum. And oakum were old ropes and the prisoners were given a, an allowance in weight every day of old ropes and they had to pick these apart with their hands. It was very hard on the hands, prisoners didn't like it. Galway Jail also had a tread wheel and that tread wheel, the prisoners were put on the tread wheel. Now, only the men, and they had to be able-bodied, men and the older children were put on the tread wheel. And they stepped on the tread wheel and it went around in a circle like a mill wheel. And it was used for pumping water and it was also used for crushing bones. So bones were brought into the prison and the prisoners crushed the bones on the tread wheel. That was hard labour. So in the 19th century, um, capital punishment was used up until the 1830s, I think it was. They had what was called at the time the bloody code because there were so many crimes for which a person could be hanged. After the 1830s, the laws were changed. So it was only for very serious crimes that pe people were hanged. And up until the 1860s, hangings happened in public and people watched them as a spectacle. And 
uh, there was the there wouldn't have been the public distaste for capital punishment that we have now. And then from the 1860s that changed and hangings within Galway jail happened within the walls of the prison. But there was what it would have been called the drop over the gate of the jail in Galway and people would have witnessed hangings there. Was it right to hang prisoners for their crimes? Personally, I don't believe in capital punishment. I don't believe that it's right. But again, I suppose it is very hard for us nowadays to judge what happened in the 19th century by our standards of today. There were a lot of people who believed that capital punishment was necessary in the 19th century. So uh, it closed, the last prisoners left the jail in the late 1930s. And then the site lay idle for some time and it was um, in the charge of the council, the local authority, and then it was handed over to the diocese and the diocese then took charge of it, demolished the buildings first within the walls, left the walls standing, demolished the buildings and there's an aerial photograph that shows the demolished buildings within the walls. And then the, the work on the building of the cathedral began. I think people nowadays don't know that there was a jail there because there is nothing to remind them of it. Uh, apart from in the car park of the cathedral, there is a memorial there which commemorates the people who were hanged on the spot where when the hangings moved in from the outside of the jail, the public hangings, uh, there's, a, there's a memorial there to commemorate those that were hanged. But otherwise, if you came to go in now, you would never know that there was a jail there five words that would come to mind when I think of Galway Jail. That is a hard question. I think of, I do think of misery because there was a lot of misery there. Perhaps controversially I might think of shelter because it did provide shelter for many people for whom life outside might have been better. I think of hope maybe, because there was some attention paid to things like educating the prisoners and training them in trades. There were orders sometimes who trained prisoners how to be shoemakers or how to be, how to have a trade when they came out of the jail. And I suppose the other word that I think of when I think of Galway Jail is forgotten, because as you have said, Many people who come to Goa today, many people who live in Goa today, never knew that it was there. <laughs>